please watch this video till the end to get the full gist and for you to understand everything. Thank you. Inye Edo shares her own account of what transpired between her and Empress Najma's arrested ex-boyfriend, Nicholas Jack Davis, after a video recording of them surfaced. Record that the suspect who operated with the name Josh Wade was arrested in Liberia after 20 women came forward with complaints of him defrauding them and robbing them of valuable items. Shortly after reports of arrest of the suspect who leaked the bedroom videos of Empress Najma made headlines, a video recording of him and Ine Edo surfaced online. It was also gathered that Ine Edo's passport data page was found in his possession. Ine Edo has now offered an explanation on what transpired between them. The actress said that Nicholas approached her for a movie he claimed he was producing. She also disclosed that he claimed to have gotten a number from a colleague. However, after a short while, he stopped talking about the movie and started asking for a romantic relationship, which made her block him on the social media platform they had the conversation on. Also, offering an explanation on how he got her passport data page, Ini said Nicholas wanted to book a flight for a meeting with her. She also disclosed that she got to know Nicholas dated Empress after it made deadlines shortly after the happy bedroom video was leaked. Ini also went on to warn those making false claims about her to stop as there is nothing more to her relationship with the suspect. Guys, let's take a look at the video. Roll it. At which you push people and people will bounce back. Now, I don't know how and why they have some people have tried to make sure they drag me into this bag and web of lies that's going on out there. I'm going to start from the very beginning because I feel like if I have to talk about it, I have to be truthful. Somebody texts me with um, a foreign number and goes, this was about sometime... August last year, between August and September, no, between August, September, and November, I think between September and November, about then, just before my friend's wedding in London. And goes, okay, it's a movie maker, he wants to make a film with me, at which he push people, and people will bounce back. Now, I don't know how and why they have some people have tried to make sure they drag me into this bag and web of lies that's going on out there. I'm going to start from the very beginning because I feel like if I have to talk about it, I have to be truthful. Somebody texts me with um, a foreign number and goes, this was about sometime... August last year, between August and September, no, between August, September and November, I think between September and November, about then, just before my friend's wedding in London. And goes, okay, it's a movie maker, he wants to make a film with me. How did you get my number? He mentions a colleague's name in Ghana. I'm not going to, I'm not here to drop anybody's name because that's not the essence of this video. So this guy says uh, he wants to make a movie. How did you get my number? Oh, a colleague of yours who's a friend of mine, according to him, gave me gave him my number. I said, okay. So he starts to chat me up. He's talking about this film he wants to make and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you know how somebody will text you once in a while? Oh, hi. I'm like, who is this? I have like literally the entire chat the time this man was chatting with me. And then he goes from there, he drifts and starts to try to go personal. Oh, I'd want to have a relationship with you. And I'm like, okay, um, it's not adding up. You see that you want to make a film or you want to be in a relationship. It, the two of them don't mix. I have never ever set my eyes, this my two eyes, has never seen this guy face to face. And he goes, he starts to twist what I'm bringing, you know, dropping some names of my colleagues, some of which, some of whom I really respect. And I'm like, I, if you know me very well, you know, I'm someone who I don't, you can't trash talk my friends. So he starts to drop names. I'm like, you know, this conversation is not going where it should go. He goes, okay, I, I'm going to block you. And I blocked him. 
And before I blocked this human being, we've talked about, okay, so it was my friend's wedding. And I said, okay, I was going to London. He said, he needed us to see, to talk about this film. I said, I'm not around. I'm going to go to London. Because I'm going for a friend's wedding. And he goes, okay, that would be a nice place to see you, and blah, blah, blah. But then I knew I had to go to South Africa. That's why I didn't make my friend's wedding. Because I had a paid engagement that I needed. I had committed to a long time ago that I had to be in South Africa for. So he goes, okay, maybe we should see in South Africa, blah, blah, blah. Send me your passport. I get your tickets. We can talk there when we see. I'm like, I can't send you my passport. All these conversations, I forwarded them to the girl in question. The entire conversation. And when this conversation moved from there and it was getting like, I just blocked the guy and I'm like, I can't deal with this. Two weeks later, who calls me? One of our friends calls me, Uche, and sends me a picture of this. I said, do you know this guy? I said, yes, so. I spoke to this guy just two weeks ago, but I blocked him. He was trying to be funny. He was talking about making a film, and then he was trying to be funny. I shot blocked him. We didn't the conversation to go far. And she was like, oh, see what has happened to this, our friend, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, really? Because I'm, I'm like, how, who is this? So in my heart, I'm like feeling, oh, so this guy is actually, and then I'm hearing different things. I'm hearing different things. I had no idea who this guy was. I didn't know who he was seeing. I mean, I didn't know he was seeing anyone. I didn't even know him at all. We just went on a conversation. The first, the two, one time he called me on video call, I was at the airport going to a Bible. And he just calls my phone. And you know when you just pick a call, an international, I just pick a random call because I never saved his number. And I'm like, why are you even calling me on video call? I just, I hung up. I'm like, let's talk on audio call. And that was it. And then this guy saves that video. Why didn't they release the, the audio, whatever? See, I feel like people should really leave me alone. I have, I'm, I have my stuff going on. I'm just trying to just be me and just live a decent life and do what is right by me and my family and my career. I think everybody should just leave me the hell alone. Enough with all these lies. It's easy to pick on in his name and just talk shit and I just keep quiet. Enough is enough. You guys have done this to me for the longest and I've kept quiet the longest. What up people? What up Africa? What up worldwide? This is brought to you by one of the best YouTube channels, Silvanus HD. Silvanus HD talks about celebrities, then they are always up to date. Endeavor to subscribe to Silvanus HD for your clarity, quality, and HD videos as well.